Calm, cute and playful. At this park, Dingo's a man's best friend. Crossbreed dingoes roam this sanctuary in a remote part of the South Burnet in the state's southern inland, where visitors can get up close and personal with the animals. It's a labour of love for the owner. I'm not making any money here, I'm losing money, but the thing is I still want to try and create an environment, a secure environment, to keep dingoes safe. Some of his dingoes are from World Heritage listed Fraser Island. They're some of the most pure and protected, but if one attacks a human, it's likely to be put down. I know the government have to put human lives above dingo lives, but instead of killing that dingo, how about we bring it here? At least it's kept alive, it's not killed, and it'll live in an environment until it dies. That idea has been met with some scepticism. These are free-ranging wild animals. You put them into a very small captive area. We have to think about, is this the best outcome for this animal? Fraser Island dingoes are now crucial to the future of this sanctuary. They're no longer allowed to breed here because outside these fences, dingoes are considered pests. The state government says Fraser dingoes are too wild to be kept in sanctuaries and that it's more humane to euthanise high-risk dingoes. Nevertheless, volunteers are building a new enclosure at the sanctuary in the hope more dingoes will be given a second chance. Isabel Rowe, ABC News, Durong.